One thing that I've really noticed a lot over the years of exposing the false religion of Judaism is there seems to be kind of a fetish with the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby with pushing the homosexuality transgender agenda. What do I mean by that? Well, over in Eastern Europe, in countries like Hungary, Poland, or Russia, or whatever else, whenever you have a law that comes out basically restricting the kind of pervert acti perverted activities of the LGBT lobby, normally it's primarily just the, just the uh, Talmudic Judeo-Satanists who are the first to come out and condemn it. Like over in Poland, there was a law that was passed. Hungary had another law that was passed as well. And one of the first people to condemn it was representatives of the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby. First ones that come out, there's a law passed in Hungary that essentially bans the homosexualization of basically minors. And the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby came out and condemned it. You'll, you'll notice that too. And it's probably not a surprise considering that over in Israel, it's a safe haven for LGBT ideology. Plain and simple. Now you do have some more conservative, you could like the Orthodox Orthodox Jews, for example, they do oppose it. But overall, there's a high amount of social liberalism with the Talmudic Judeo Satanist lobby and just this weird fetish with uh, siding with the LGBT ideology against actual families. Like there was an instance where these uh, Antifa, who were basically like this this uh, Judeo Satanist faction of Antifa, who were basically counter protesting uh, this anti-drag queen rally and they, and they essentially just made it seem like pretty much anybody who opposes sexualization of children is just some kind of white supremacist neo-nazi now I, I will say this i do support white nationalism but I, i'm not a neo-nazi okay i'm slavic so i i, I can't i kind of a problem for me to be a nazi considering the fact that uh, slavs were actually hated by the nazis but side issue the point is, is that the obsession and fetish of, of pushing the lgbt homosexuality transgenderism ideology uh is I mean, obviously, it's a core agenda of the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby because, well, birds of a feather flock together. But it kind of goes hand-in-hand uh, hand with their agenda of just opposing, of actual, basically opposing actual family values. Because you read the Talmud, uh, it's probably one of the most anti-family pieces of garbage I've ever heard, or I've, I've ever read and heard quotes from, I'll put it that way. So, this is a quick little monologue. I mean, uh, John 8, 44 uh, pretty much describes the Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby. So does um, 1 John chapter 3, verse 12, describes their agenda they have over in Israel, as well as uh, Proverbs 8, verse 36, which is basically just death worship. That's what Judaism is. Uh, don't believe me? Then look at how they basically worship these dead rabbis. It's death worship is all that it is. So anyway, which is a little monologue. Don't be deceived. The Talmudic Judeo-Satanist lobby is of the spirit of Antichrist. 1 John 2, verse 22 down to verse 23. Uh, John 3, 36. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you know, you're not going to heaven. Okay. Uh, sorry to all the hyper. I mean, I do support racial Israel, the right to be in that land. I'll put it that. I'll just put that out there. But uh, you know, Judaism is a false religion. It denies Jesus Christ. I could say a whole lot more on that. Cover that in other videos. But don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.